Hello everyone, it's Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations and this is going to be the reading for Capricorn for the week of May 8th through the 15th. So we have Jupiter going direct, yay, on May 9th, but I am already feeling the energies of positivity, expansion, new awakenings, all kinds of new messages. So um, since I had to work this weekend and I wasn't um, able to do the videos earlier, so for expediency, I pulled cards ready for the from the Guardian Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And so we have lots of great things. So here we have six of actions, six of wands. And it says a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success. So things, even though we're in still retrograde, but with the Earth trine, with the new moon in Taurus, and now Jupiter going direct, things are just starting to blossom. Look at all the flowers, just Mayflowers, the roses. Everything's just opening, all the buds, all the projects, all those things that have kind of been placed on kind of like slow motion or hold or been delayed. I think now with this Jupiter going direct, since it's such a large planet and such a large influence in our life, and it's part of the Earth trine because Jupiter's in Virgo. So just the Virgo is about details and getting things organized and being, you know, on the ball with things. And it says, um, if somebody comes to offer you assistance, to go ahead and take it at the beginning of the week. So that's like beautiful and amazing. And then in the middle of the week, we have the Ace of Action, Ace of Wands. So here is this pure power, passion, flame of, you know, get her done type of energy. Just you're really inspired. You're really inspired to take action with all of these wonderful successes. It just fuels you, right? It fuels your passion to to go on and to to continue pursuing, you know, these opening and these new things that have come about. And here we have the, the guardian of action. So Everything is wands. This is pure fire energy right here, right? So here we have the king of wands, who is the master at getting things done. He is the master of organization. He's the master of really listening to his heart and doing things with a passionate conviction. And it says it's time for you to step up. So it's time for you to step into this leadership role. Because you have the ideas, you have the project, you've got the plan, and now it's time for you to be the leader of, you know, whatever it is, whether it's career-wise, whether it's being a leader in the sense of your relationship, of really pushing it forward, and being, you know, doing that something special for someone. Um, you, you know, you've got the sun's rays on you, you're very charismatic at this point. So anything that has to do with communication, even though we're in Mercury retrograde, but still, these planets have aligned in such a manner for us to be able to take advantage of them. And it says it's your moment to shine. So you are the leader in 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 leading your own heart's desire and, and putting your passion. Who better than to spearhead the efforts than yourself? Because these are your ideas, your projects, your inspirations. And oh my gosh, here we have the, the this whole basis is based on creativity and abundance. So this is the Empress card. So she's she's the epitome of May, and in May we have the uh, the energies of um, of the Virgin Mary, of Mother Mary, who is encompassing us with this nurturing and and um, just loving. Uh, divine feminine energies for us. And it says you're being called to, dear one, you're being called to action. You, that you're ready to accomplish great things. That you're ready to be in that fifth dimensional energy where manifestation and, and synchronicity and passion and heart's desires all roll up into one big ball. And uh, taking advantage of these earth trine energies and this new moon to really get those intentions, whatever you've been inspired to do, to get it out there get moving and and push yourself forward right um so if you feel that you know with this general reading you want to know more and you want to you know want to know more about your purpose and your and your heart's desire and how you can make that happen and you want a private reading 
um, then please go to my website, Akashic Inspirations. Um, I highly and always recommend, if you've never had an Akashic reading, to do the half hour Akashic reading. And I know that you'll be back for more. <laughs> um, but I have some wonderful tarot readings. We've got the love, uh, the, the love tarot readings for you. Um, and just, just, I just feel that energy to be able to um, help you uh, get those messages from your guides and your angels and be able to move forward. And I really, really thank you for always supporting me and making your comments and watching the videos and, and taking the time uh, to do that and share with me also on Facebook and you share your ideas with me. And I, I really, really appreciate it and I love the interaction with you. So I'm wishing you like a fabulous, I mean, you're going to have this fabulous week anyway. So really take advantage of the energies, okay? You're, you're, you're being given an open door to opportunity. So God, step through it. Be the leader. Step through it and take advantage and really live your heart's desire. I wish you many blessings. Namaste.